Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zenzi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got the January scent and warmer of the month here. Now as consultants, we can access the scent and the warmer of the month a little bit early, but these will be available for everybody on January 1st. Now this January, we actually have a Valentine's Day themed warmer, which is kind of exciting. We don't get a whole lot of Valentine's Day themed warmers. We had one a couple years ago. Right now we also have the Heart to Heart Charity Warmer. That is a white um, ceramic warmer, 25 watt bulb, and it isn't a Valentine's themed warmer, but a portion of the proceeds of that one do go to the Sensi Family Foundation, which supports various nonprofits. Um, so that's a good cause. And that warmer itself, I'll put a picture here. I actually just ordered this one yesterday, so it's not here yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It has hearts kind of like pinholed into it. Um, so you can get like the glowing effect of the bulb. My plan is to put a pink bulb in that warmer and um, have like a pink glowy warmer. But right here for January, we have a very, very cute Valentine's themed warmer and a pretty fun scent of the month. So here's the brochure and you see the warmer and the scent. We'll start with the warmer cause it's right here and I don't always get the warmer, but this warmer, I, I want it. It's an element warmer. So there's no light bulb. It does not light up which makes it really, really ideal for bedrooms. So I'll probably put this in our bedroom, um, but the detail on this, I'm gonna try to get close and stay close for a second. Cause you have little hearts, you have little like little spots, leaf details or feathers. I'm not sure what they are, I think leaves, but maybe feathers. And then we've got the kind of swirly intricate little lines in it. It's really pretty. So it is a, it's a glazed ceramic, kind of a warm toned pink. So there's that. The dish is just in the top here. One thing to keep in mind is this is not a removable dish. This is just attached to the warmer. So you will have to use probably the cotton ball method or turn your warmer off for 10 to 15 minutes and then kind of just peel the wax out. Sensi wax tends to peel out quite nicely, but yes, you won't be able to um, take the dish out of this one. So it does hold up to four cubes, I believe. There's no number on the bottom, but the Sensi brochure shows this warmer with four cubes in it. So. That's where I'm getting four cubes from. They show four cubes right there. So that's kind of my my guideline. This is a nine watt element warmer. So usually Sensi element warmers range from maybe like eight to 13, 13 watts. So this is nine. So on the slightly lower end for the element warmers. Um, but there we are. And then the sides are just, and see it is slightly like tilted. So it's kind of got some like shape to it, a little bit more dynamic. So it is kind of just a bit more yeah, I feel like it makes it so you can see some of the, the depth of the heart while it's sitting straight. So that's about as straight as I can make it. And you do still see some of the 3D-ness of it. So it looks 3D even when it's standing flat just because of the way it's tilted. So that's kind of cool. Um, the back has your Sensi logo and the cord cutout. We have a white cord. And so yeah, that is the warmer. Super cute, available January 1st. And let me get the pricing for this one. So this one will be $53 Canadian regularly, but it'll be on sale for the month of January at $47.70. It will be less than that in the US. I'll put the American pricing here underneath. And on to the scent of the month. We have Candy Orchard. So I actually have already warmed this one as well. I did two cubes in my office of this one uh, the other day. So Sensi says this is a fruity category scent and it's a cloud of spun sugar mixes with sweet raspberry and warm vanilla in a candy coated fantasy. So our scent pyramid, we have top notes of sweet raspberry, mid notes of spun sugar, and then bottom notes or base notes of warm vanilla. So this one is a very sweet scent. I would put it under the bakery category. This is candy sweet, like marshmallow, well not marshmallowy, super vanilla frosting, cotton candy sweet. Um, if you're not into super, super sweet scents, this probably isn't going to be for you. But if you are, um, this is a winner. Yes, it is very, very sticky sweet, <laughs> like very sticky sweet. So I did, again, I did two cubes of this in our office. Um, this one stays fairly close to the warmer. So strength wise, I would put this around a three, maybe a four out of 10, but probably closer to a three in strength. Um, and I would say you could only smell it within six feet of the warmer. Even when it was at its peak, I had to get into the room to smell it. It didn't just like, you couldn't just smell it when you first walked in. So it does seem to be a lighter scent. This one, however, reminds me a lot, like a lot, a lot 
of cotton candy cookie from a couple Easter's ago. That one was kind of the same. It smelled very, very similar to this. Um, and it also was one that a lot of people found quite light and struggled with performance on in the beginning. But then Easter passed, it got discontinued and retired. And then people were pulling out their old bars of it and finding, hey, wow, these aged really well. It's actually a really good performer now. So I think that may be the case with this one. I feel like this one is going to be one of those where these are fresh pours and in three or four months from now, these are going to do much better. Um, and cotton candy scents tend to do that. Candy Crave is another one. Yeah, this is very, very nice. I think if you like cotton candy cookie, you're going to really like this. Um, some people have been asking how it compares to sugar or pink haze. I would say it's not really that similar at all to sugar. That one is more of a perfumey, um, kind of musky cotton candy. This is just candy sweet. Uh, pink haze a little bit. Pink haze is a bit more complex and a bit higher pitched somehow. This one, the stickiness of the raspberry, I think brings it down in tone a little bit. I would say definitely a smaller space scent. I wouldn't even try this in an open layout, at least not right now. Maybe once it's aged, it'll be stronger. But I would say definitely a smaller space scent, small to medium sized bedrooms at most. And I think I'm gonna try doubling the wax on this one if I do it in our bedroom um, and do four cubes instead of two. I think that might give some better performance as well. But yeah, that one is good. And I have some pretty high hopes for aging this one. So that is Candy Orchard. If you like those kind of like little kids sticky sweet type scents, this one is a fun one. It's very nostalgic. It reminds me a lot of a cotton candy lip smackers lip gloss I had in like middle school. So it is a good one. Very candy sweet. As far as the notes themselves, the raspberry here, I do smell raspberry. It is in no way a real fruit raspberry. This is not like raspberries at the grocery store. There's no tartness here. There's none of the juiciness here. This is raspberry candy. <laughs> yeah, like raspberry lollipops, raspberry hard candy, something like that. Dipped in a thick decadent buttercream frosting and then piled with cotton candy, like lots of cotton candy. <laughs> So there's nothing f like super fruity about this one as far as like real fruit to my nose. It's much more confectionery. This is a confectionery category scent. In my wax stash, I have my drawers separated into bakery scents and then sweet scents. Because sometimes a bakery is like, bakery and sweet are different for me. So like something like raspberry lollipop, also a little similar to this. This is I think more buttercream sweet and cotton candy-ish, whereas raspberry lollipop was just that raspberry lollipop note. I feel like the note of raspberry from raspberry lollipop, which was in one or two Easter's ago, um, that is the same raspberry note as in here, but this has more sweet stuff <laughs> added to it. But yes, in my stash, I have my drawers separated between bakery and like sweet confection. And this would fall under sweet confection, not under bakery for me. So under Sensi's categories, I would call this bakery. Sensi calls it fruity. Under my personal labeling systems, I would consider the sweet confectionery. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good one. I think if you like sweet scents, you can't go wrong. If you prefer your scents on the lighter side, this would be a good one to try as well. If you're a person who's trying to fill a very large space with high ceilings or an open layout, I would say probably not the bar for that, um, but really nice, really sweet. Just a nice, fun, lighthearted one for January. I think this would also be really fun in little kids' rooms. And I think my daughter's gonna love this one too. So there is Candy Orchard. That will also be available January 1st at 10% off. And now, starting in January, Scent of the Months are gonna be available in pods too. So we have never had this before. So the consultant kit now comes with a pod pack um, in the Scent of the Month, but also on January 1st, every Scent of the Month going forward from there, we can purchase pods in the scent of the month, which is kind of cool because we have so many different pod dispersing options now. We have the tabletop fan diffusers, we have the mini fan diffusers, we have the wall fan diffusers, we have the air purifiers, we have the Sensi Go. There's so many ways to do pods now. And so we have the pods in the catalog and then we usually have a few limited time offer pods, but we've never been able to get the pods in the scent of the month before. Now we do. So we have Candy Orchard in the pods and I actually haven't sn sniffed this yet. So let's give it a smell. Interesting. This one is much heavier on the vanilla frosting. I get way less raspberry, quite a bit less cotton candy, but the cotton candy is still there. I get a like very, very strong um, vanilla buttercream frosting, 
with almost a note of caramelization there that is not present in the wax. So this one is actually a little bit different in the pods than it is in the wax. Yeah, so that is nice. Both versions are nice. I think I prefer the wax version. Yeah, I do. This one has way more cotton candy and that cotton candy is the note I really like in here. Um, this one is more like caramelized sugar frosting. It smells like a fancy high-end frosting. Whereas this one is like candy sweet cotton candy. Yeah, okay. They're fairly different as far as pods and waxes go. Sometimes they're like almost identical. Other times there is a significant difference. And in this particular scent, I would say there's a significant difference between the pod and the wax. So just keep that in mind. One more look at the warmer. I just, I love this color. Is this, is this like millennial pink? Is this that color? It's kind of a warm peachy pink. It's very, very pretty. So there is that. I know it's not even Christmas yet and we are still in like the full swing of the holidays but I would love to know in the comments below since this is a Valentine's themed warmer of the month do you decorate for Valentine's Day? Um, for me it depends. Last year I didn't. I was too busy with work and stuff and I just didn't um, but most years I do. I'll just do my mantle up and change out a warmer or two but I would love to know if you do any kind of Valentine's decorating in your home at all. I also usually change my outside lights to like a pink red and purple design so that the outside lights are kind of valentines -y as well. So it's kind of nice to have some bright decorations out to make it feel a bit more festive even in the kind of like dark of winter. So yeah, most years I try to decorate for Valentine's Day um, at least a little bit. And that is the January scented warm of the month. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.